UPN 30. Well, Big Time Wrestling returns tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Box office opens at 6.30. Who we got some exciting matches tonight, folks. We're going to kick it off with Style and Shane Eden taking on practices. You'll see the love machine, Matt Longtime, take on the giant Prince Justice. One half of sudden impact, Chris Gatlin takes on Jason Kane. Air Paris returns to take on Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T. It's a U.S. ladies title match when Little Genie with Bart Durham takes on Maria Montana tonight in Nashville. The Hot Shots, Cassidy O'Reilly and Chase Stevens take on the Super Freaks. And in the main event, every week fans write letters. When's James Storm getting a title shot? When's James Storm getting a title shot? Well, he's getting it tonight. James Storm against Chris Harris tonight. What's mad about you? You still mad the last time we come out here and we beat your butts? Is that what you're mad about? Hey, hey, man, don't be mad at me. Don't be. Oh, oh, big bully Douglas. Trying the attack from behind, and both members of me, Inc. Pay the price, and down goes Douglas Rapata. Down goes Rapata, and the Hot Shots cleaning house of me, Inc. They mean business. Do you think we might be able to get this match started? Get these buffoons to settle down a little bit? I was enjoying Mike Rapata's rendition of I Want to Talk About Me. As a matter of fact, I wish he'd sing about it a little bit more. You're the one. Did somebody say toe? There's only one name to know. Shorty's Wrecker in Lebanon, Tennessee. Call him 449-0372. Shorty can move a semi or a Volvo. Heck, he can move a house. Shorty's Wrecker Service, Lebanon, Tennessee. 449-0372. Call him today. You're never stranded when you got Shorty's number in your wallet. 449-0372. If car problems got you pinned for the one, two, three, you need to come see my friends at Mufflers, Brakes, and More. Come see my friend Robert and the gang, where they specialize in mufflers, brakes, and any of your other car repair needs. Don't wrestle with them old car problems. Bring them down here to my friends, Mufflers, Brakes, and More. The city's toughest cop. But the brakes remain silent has just been assigned a new partner. A dog? I'm the canine with a computer implant. Your computer? Holy mother! Now, to stop a dangerous criminal... The government is in on the pit. This unlikely duo... They're gonna try it again. ...will have to work together... Hang on, Eddie. I gotcha. ...to take a bite out of crime. You're amazing. K-9000. Watch Today at 2 on UPN 30. It's the most gripping entertainment on television. But until you've seen it live, you haven't truly experienced the World Wrestling Federation. The deafening crowd, the spine-tingling action, the superstars within your reach. Feel the attitude, feel the thrills, feel the unparalleled intensity of the WWF live. Don't miss the pay-per-view spectacular Judgment Day, live at the Gaylord Entertainment Center, Sunday, May 19th. Tickets go on sale Saturday, April 27th, and you can meet The Undertaker at the box office at 10.30. Their debt just got repaid because Douglas and Rapata are bigger, they're stronger, they're meaner, and they have the managerial expertise of Brother Ernest right there along, along ringside with them. You mean Pimp Daddy E? Pimp Daddy E. He knows. My good friend Ernest. He can't even manage his sock drawer, much less a tag team. Well, Scott, how would you manage a sock drawer? I can do it very well, it's, thank you. Well, I imagine you could. That's probably your calling in life. But it, while you're talking about the administrative capabilities of of sock drawers. Meanwhile, Douglas and Rapata are kicking a bejesus out of these two skinny little punks. This has been brewing for weeks here in USA Championship Wrestling, and it is boiling over on this edition. Scott Hudson and Jim Cornette ringside. Big bully no, Douglas. No, no, no. That's Jim Cornette and Scott Hudson ringside. My apologies. Tag made. Big Billy Douglas. Mike Rapata dropped the elbow on Cassidy Riley. Now Rapata are going to drop the knee. Rapata and Douglas are oh. just too big and too strong. The hot shots don't have the weight in their jeans to be able to take care of these two guys. 
Oh, look at Rapata. It's all about me, me, me. Look at that lackadaisical cover, and Riley kicked out at two. It's not all about you, you, you. It's all about him, him, him. Get your pronouns straight. Oh, boy, Riley. Now that's kicking out of a unorthodox pinfall attempt from Rapata. Head bounced off the canvas. Oh, wait a minute. Look at there. The presence of mind to grapevine the leg. Now Rapata holds onto the foot while he tags Douglas. Ooh. Legal tag. Within the referee's five count, they made the switch, and now Douglas all over your hot shot. Old hot shot Stevens there. Jay Stevens trying to get into the ring. Captain Where is that Riley? Riley? It's Riley in the ring. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? From me, Inc. Referee Eric Hicks distracted. He gets distracted by bright lights. This guy to get in the get in the game. Now wait a minute. When I was knocking him, you were praising him. Now that you're knocking him, does that mean I should praise him? No, right I'll ahead. knock him too. He's a hatchet head. What exactly does that mean? That means that it looks like somebody set his face on fire and put it out with an axe. I'm going to write that one down. Cassidy Riley back into the ropes by Big Bully Douglas. Shoots him in. Douglas waits on him. Big back oh. body drop up into the lights here at the Mecca in Nashville. Douglas eerily reminiscent. Wait a minute. Cover there. Lateral press and Riley barely kicked out at two. Douglas is eerie, eerily reminiscent of another famous wrestler in Nashville. It was a great wrestler, the angel, Frank Morrell. Sure. He looks quite a bit like, perhaps, possibly related in some distant fashion. Really? You to, think so? Uh, to the angel. Wow. Frank Morrell, there's a name from the past. Went on to a great career as a referee, actually. And he had more hair than you. That's not saying much. Well, you said that again. Rapata now pulling the form of Cassidy Raleigh back into center ring. Raleigh was very close to making the tag to Chase Stevens. Well, unfortunately, the hot shots have taken their best shot, and so far they can't control me, Incorporated. There's the tag. Chase Stevens now. No, 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 no. I beg to differ. That's what? not a tag because the referee didn't see it. Oh, well, that's like a tree falling in the forest. There was a tag. This blind referee hey, missed it. Double. Let me ask you a question. If a wrestling announcer makes commentary and there's nobody listening, does that mean he doesn't make any noise? In which case, would you please shut up? What did you say? Are you talking? Is your mic on? Is this thing on? Big bully Douglas getting in the face of the official. Not the best refereeing job we've seen here. By Wait a minute. What a, not one of these Nash millions no. trying to shake my hand over here. I don't do that. It spreads germs. For heaven's I'm sake. I'm sure he'll get over it. I need security around here. I'm too big of a star for this building. Mike Rapata sets Cassidy Riley up. Big suplex in center ring. Riley has been in this contest since the opening bell. Desperately needs to make the tag to Stevens. We'll see. That's the mark of a good tag team. Wait a minute. He's got him covered there. but Another cover by Rapata. Oh, no. Schoolboy roll up. No. That's Boy, the mark trailer. of a good tag team. They have kept Riley in their part of the ring. They've, they've blocked him off from making the tag. He can't get to his partner. So it's two on one, but they're doing it within the boundaries of the rules, Scott. Barely. Barely within the boundaries of the rules. And with Eric Hicks in there as an official, I'm not sure they haven't broken the rule a couple oh, of times. Now, oh, now, see, now there you're talking about him bad again. See, now you've changed your tune. You're what? like an ex-wife I once had. Change once. your tune constantly. Ooh. Lariat from Big Bully Douglas dropped Cassidy Riley, who may be out on his feet, front chancery. And this might be a submission maneuver. With all of the abuse that Riley has taken, he might get a submission here, but watch Riley. Riley, bullying Douglas back into the corner. There's the tag, but again, the referee, distracted by Mike Rapata. Oh, now, wait a minute. Like I said, it's not a tag if the referee doesn't see it. So once again, the hot shots have failed to follow the basic rules of professional wrestling. What, to tag, to change partners? You're right. What were they thinking? Well, they're Whoa. not doing it right. Inverted atomic drop. Now, wait a minute. That could seriously impair that man's ability to reproduce. That so hold on band. What has that got to do with wrestling? Well, if you do it right, a lot. Unless you're a Von Erich. Wait a minute, Riley. Oh, Back just off. bought a boot right in the face from Big Bully Douglas. Rapata, there's the tag to Douglas, and Riley was that close to making the tag to Stevens. Now Douglas on top. Stevens has had it. Puts the boot right into the back of Big Bully Douglas. And now, wait a minute, Douglas, still with the referee trying to keep some order here somehow, Scott Hudson. 
Douglas just happens to take advantage of the five count and the double suplex. Down goes Riley. Jay Stevens has not been in this contest legally since the opening bell. Lateral press from Rapata and Riley out at two. And Rapata obviously questioning Hatchet Ed here about the count, which he ought to because it was incredibly slow. It certainly was not. They don't count like that in Louisville, where I'm from. They don't count there. Oh, for heaven's sake, Watch Louisville's Riley. the wrestling capital of the world. There's the tag. No, wait a minute. There it is. The oh, Rapata's ready Steven. for him. Down goes Rapata. Douglas took one. Douglas and Rapata being double teamed now by the Hot Shots. Riley's back in this. Down goes Douglas. Down goes Rapata. And the Hot Shots opening up on me, Inc. Standing drop kick on Douglas. This Riley. looks like a human demolition derby here. That's exactly what they want. No love love here. Here we go. Got a double shoot. Oh, and a beating of me, Inc. It's all about me, me, me. Wait a minute now. Look at that. Double team and Douglas. That's the only way they could get him down. Two Ooh. on one. Just like Ricky and Robert. Double drop kick. Down goes Douglas. Down goes Rapata. Oh, wait a minute. Ernest. Give him some mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, try to, some CPR. Maybe the Heimlich that. maneuver. Oh, double suplex on Big Bully Douglas. Watch Rapata. Try the double clothesline. Oh, the double Russian leg sweep from the hot shots. Lateral press and Douglas at the last possible moment. But Stevens opening up on Douglas. Oh, now these guys, wait a minute. The hot shots, I think they're about shot. Oh, Riley and that? Rapata. Riley nailed the referee. Oh, they both nail the referee. He got in the way. They, the referee obviously has lost total control. The Hot Shots and me, Inc. This one's going to be tossed, I can guarantee you. Well, wait a minute. Look, he's trying to kick Pimp Daddy E right in the face. Well, good. It, can only, him, it can only improve things. Look at that outfit. Do not adjust your set. Oh, and down goes Riley. Me, Inc. Double teaming Cassidy. Now, what? wait a minute. What did Pimp Daddy E toss into the ring? Well, it looks to me like they're giving the man a present. They're giving him that's some a, uh, bracelets, it looks a, like. That's a set of your handcuffs, Cornette. Wait a minute. How'd they get a hold of my handcuffs? Have they been in my bag? Wait a second. Riley, handcuffed to the lower rope. Now the referee. Oh, now what? The referee being. What are they? What is Pimp Daddy E throwing into the Pimp ring? Pimp Daddy E obviously works for the Nashville Metropolitan Corrections Institute. Oh, he most certainly does not, although he's had experience with them, well, I, I think. He's on the Davidson County Sheriff's Department. I don't know. He looks like a standard police officer in Tennessee to me. Oh, he does not. Cassidy Riley, handcuffed to the lower rope. The ridiculous Pimp Daddy E. You know, that's who Pimp Daddy E reminds me of, Buford Pusser. And now look at Douglas and Rapata and Pimp Daddy E. Have the referee helpless. They got the hot shots exactly where they want them. Look I at, think we have seen a case of total domination here. We are seeing a case of an official who lost control of a match and a war that may know no end in USA Wrestling. Well, the referee looks like the crab boy now. He's trying to crawl around. That's where he ought to be. Double underhook from Rapata on Chase Stevens. Oh, Riley can't get DDT. loose. Riley, look at Riley straining. He can't get loose. Cassidy Riley having to watch in horror as his partner double teamed by me, Inc. Or two and a half teamed if you count that pimp daddy E. Wait a minute. What is he? Where's Ernest gone? Ernest is left. Oh, and now what's left of Chase Stevens is going to get. Oh, the neck breaker. From Big Bullock. What has Pimp Daddy E oh, gone? Ernest is back. What is he doing? He's found a chair. There we go. Pimp Daddy E throws a chair into the ring. Is that lady all right? He pulled it right out from under her. Oh, she'll be all right in a few days. I think I might have broken her coccyx. Well, now. What? Hang on. That's located gonna... in the proboscis. Now, wait a minute. Stevens. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. They're going to give Stevens a seat. That's where this kid ought to be. Oh, no. Every time he comes to a wrestling match, he ought to be sitting in a seat at ringside because he doesn't deserve to be in a ring. Where are the officials of USA Championship Wrestling? Where are the referees? Come on. Well, there's one of them. He's doing a, a real good job right there. He's handcuffed He's behind his back. You should know there. what that's like. He's laying there taking up space, about what he always does. Cassidy Riley, handcuffed to the lower rope. Chase Stevens has taken more abuse and punishment than, oh, wow. man. Double shoulder breaker out of a tombstone.
I don't know if Chase Stevens is conscious. Speaking of tombstones, I think that's what hot shots are going to need. You may be right. This is carnage. Well, I would venture to guess this was a no decision, Scott. We'll have to ask the referee. I don't think get him he remembers. When they pull him out of traction. He's probably got mental amnesia. All the hot shots in me, Inc. Someday this one's going to fire up again. Wow. Well, oh, Big Time Wrestling returns tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Box office opens at 6.30. Whoo, we got some exciting matches tonight, folks. We're going to kick it off with style and shading and taking on practices. You'll see the love machine, Matt Longtime, take on the giant Prince Justice. One half of sudden impact, Chris Gatlin takes on Jason Kane. Air Paris returns to take on Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T. It's the U.S. ladies title match when Little Jeannie with Bart Durham takes on Maria Montana tonight in Nashville. The Hot Shots, Cassidy O'Reilly and Chase Stevens take on the Super Freaks. And in the main event, every week fans write letters. When's James Storm getting a title shot? When's James Storm getting a title shot? Well, he's getting it tonight. James Storm against Chris Harris tonight. All you dog lovers out there, listen up. Nomad Kennels in Murfreesboro, Tennessee is teaming up with Pet Led Pet Store in Murfreesboro to offer basic, intermediate, and advanced training of your special friends. Dogs are a lot of hard work. Call Nomad today. Nomad also trains and sells and contracts out detection dogs to police, fire departments, security agencies worldwide, school districts, and private businesses too. We offer private classes for your convenience. Train with the people who train the professionals. 615-573-6243. Get caught up on all the latest pro wrestling news. It's the USA Championship Wrestling Hotline, 860-7000. That's right, 860-7000. Call right now. Get all the latest gossip, all the latest news, all the latest local action, 860-7000. Call every day. Update it all the time. USA Championship Wrestling. If you really want to know what's going on in the world of professional wrestling, this is the number you need to know, 615-860-7000. Does your car not want to go? Well, don't worry, we can tow. Here at Brown's Automotive, we specialize in light, medium, and heavy towing. There's no car or truck too hard for us to handle. Our specially trained staff is on call 24 hours a day, and our quick response time makes us one of the best in Nashville. So when your car doesn't want to go, just give us a call, and we'll give you a tow. You know Direct has offices all over the state of Tennessee. And you know we have great prices on car and life insurance with low down payments. But did you know we have cell phones for as little as $45 when you purchase $30 worth of prepaid airtime? It's simple. Purchase your prepaid airtime for $30 and you can get a cell phone for only $45. Come by Direct and get your cell phone service from us. Save a lot of money when you buy Direct. David Flair, former WCW United States Heavyweight Champion, taking it to the former Ohio Valley Champion, Flash. Oh, boots into the midsection of Flash and Flair. Now it's going to be gut check time for Flash. Flash should have... check his gut, what's left of it. Well, there you go. He's going to have to see if he can muster up the, the energy, muster up the strength, the breath at this point to come back against a, a guy like David Flair who's going to do everything in his power. He's the son of the dirtiest player in the game, and he learned all those tricks at an early age. So his, his inexperience in the ring belies oh. his, his, his years, his veteran knowledge that he learned from his father. Lateral press with the far leg and only a two count on Flash. 23-year-old David Flair, the rear chin lock now on Flash. Amazing the progress that David Flair has made. And, and you gotta in make, less than two years. You got to make mention also the fact that while Flair's 23, Flash, an 11-year veteran, only 28 years old, he's been a pro since he was 17. Once again, David Flair, like we've seen earlier, using his body weight to his advantage. That no doubt comes from the style of wrestling we see in Ohio Valley wrestling. It's old school. It's heavily competitive. It's, it's contact. 
It's physical contact. It's wrestling like we have here in USA Championship Wrestling. Handful of hair from David Flair. Oh, a little pelvic thrust, just like dear old dad used to do. Well, now Flair moving in. He's trying to stay on top of Flash. He doesn't want to give him room to breathe. And then the ropes, back elbow from David Flair. Down goes Flash, quickly down. Far leg hook, two count, and Flash barely out. Back and forth action. Two evenly matched competitors in this matchup. Four oh, arm look, shots. Look at Flash coming back up from underneath. Now he scoops Flair up, went for the slam, but Flair drops behind going for a roll up here. Can As he, he hang got on. him. Wait no. a minute. He couldn't get him. Flash was squirming underneath. That's a veteran maneuver. Never stopped moving his legs, never stopped moving his lower body. As Flair rolled him up out of the corner, Flair shoots Flash into the ropes. Went down too early, telegraphed it. Sunset flip. Can he get Flair over? Whoa. Yes, he can. Cradled, no. Flair rolled out at two. Feel like I'm eating at Denny's. I just what? saw the moons over my hammy. Oh, brother. Thought we were beyond that. Wait a minute. Flair sets Flash up. Snap suplex back into the center of the ring. David Flair rolls over. Far leg hooked and Flash barely rolled that left shoulder out at two and a half. Well, Flair at this point's got to be thinking, what have I got to do? What have I got to do to put this guy away? Flash so mentally and physically tough, but Flair is still in control. And now another of his father's tra trademark patents. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Flash cut Flair off. Back into the ring the hard way. And Flash tossed David Flair halfway across the ring from the top rope, but has Flash got anything left at all? Well, it's going to be interesting to see which one of these guys gets their feet first. Flair up to, to two knees, but he's having serious problems with his back. Flash sunken in the corner. Both guys slow and coming to their feet, getting back to their vertical base, and now Flair once again with the offensive. Flair backsplash into the corner, sets him up, shoots him across hard into the turnbuckle, but Flash got the boot up into the chest, staggered it. Big drop kick from the middle rope, and Flash... Well, Flair, of course, oh, there's likes... some fire there. Wait a minute. Flash back up to his feet. Flash is finishing maneuver. He likes that whip flash off the turnbuckles. Flair, of course, loves the figure four leg lock when he can get it applied. Oh. Flair tried to block that one, but Flash caught part of it. Flair up and over. Flash putting the pressure on David Flair now. This worm has turned. Watch Flash full scoop and a slam on young David Flair, putting the boots right into the chest. Oh, this, is, this is the old Garvin stomp. Boy, you got that right. Shades of the one-man gang, Ronnie Garvin, the old Garvin stomp. Up and down, Ooh. Flair's body, and a leg drop to finish it off. Not a conventional cover, and David Flair kicked out at two. What a matchup we're seeing here. Flash and David Flair. Flash pulls Flair back up to a vertical base, backs him into the corner with a forearm shot to the jaw. Boy, you got to give both these guys credit. They're not afraid to hit or be hit. Wait a minute, Flash up and over. Ooh. Oh, he just pickled David Flair. Now Flash going for the whip flash. Flash going, no. Oh, Ooh. my God, he got hatchet head. He got the referee. Referee Eric Hicks. David Flair ducked out of the way of the whip flash, and I mean the referee bought one in the cranium. Well, now David Flair all over the top of Flash. Flash was trying to see about the referee. Flash nailed the referee with that whip flash. Wait a minute. There's a whip Flair. flash for Flair. Whiplash for Flair. The referee back up. Oh, he's dazed. He's confused. He's probably blind as well. The Flash trying Flash to go get the referee. He just had the match won with that whiplash, and boy, did it have impact. David Flair only now staggering back to consciousness. Well, Flash has whiplashed everybody in the building but you, and I got to speak to him about that. Watch it. But now he's starting in on David Flair again. Elbow to the top of the skull. The referee, Eric Hicks, barely back with it. Look at Flair. Wait a minute. On the middle rope. He got him. Three count. David Flair. I might call that one an upset. David Flair just pinned Flash. And the referee too disoriented to see how he did it. Taking a page from his father's book. I think Flash, by all rights, won the match. But in the record books, David Flair is your victor. Growing up in Ripley, Tennessee, everyone knew my dad. He was the mayor, founder of the bank. Morning, Mr. Durham. Good morning, ma'am. And the lawyer anybody could count on for help. They deserve justice. 
To Dad, nothing was more important than a person's dignity. Thank you, Mr. Durham, for what you've done. I grew up to be a lawyer, too. I became a federal prosecutor in Tennessee. But my heart was in helping people the way Dad did. I want to make sure you get the help you need. So for more than 25 years, I've had my own practice helping injured people. I've got some good news for you. And now Blair has become our family's third generation of lawyers. I wish Granddad could see this. I think he can, son. I think he can. These are good people, and they deserve justice. I feel as if Dad's with me every time I fight for a person's rights. And if Dad is watching somehow, I just hope I've made him proud. Call attorney Bart Durham, 242-9000. Justice is your right, and we demand it. On the next Pretender... I got bumped from the flight. They overbooked it. A kind gesture with a deadly irony. Take my seat. You really saved my life. Flight 105 has crashed. What? And the Pretender discovers this was no accident. I've uncovered some new evidence about what caused the crash. 70 seconds to impact. Next Pretender. Watch today at 4 on UPN 30. Some of my favorite Jeopardy moments are when we play host to kids and teenagers. You really make me feel inadequate. Sorry about that. Tonight at 6 on UPN 30. Certain things are always true. The best football is played in the SEC each Saturday and always in the fall of each year. Also, your best buying car insurance will always be found at the number one company, Acceptance Insurance. So for no big down payment, 12 monthly installments, and great service, call Acceptance Insurance and continue our tradition of saving you money. Acceptance Insurance. Check us out today. They told me this was a home game. Well, Big Time Wrestling returns tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Box office opens at 6.30. Who we got some exciting matches tonight, folks. We're going to kick it off with style and shading and taking on practices. You'll see the love machine, Matt Longtime, take on the giant Prince Justice. One half of sudden impact, Chris Gatlin takes on Jason Kane. Air Paris returns to take on Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T. It's a U.S. ladies title match when Little Jeannie with Bart Durham takes on Maria Montana tonight in Nashville. The Hot Shots, Cassidy O'Reilly and Chase Stevens take on the Super Freaks. And in the main event, every week fans write letters. When's James Storm getting a title shot? When's James Storm getting a title shot? Well, he's getting it tonight. James Storm against Chris Harris. Tonight! Mixed tag team action. Next up on USA Championship Wrestling. This should be a good one, Jim. Bambi teaming with Kevin White to take on Leilani Kai and her charge, young Steve Bragg. That's right, and he doesn't like to brag, but he will. And he'll say that he was the student of Leilani Kai. Leilani Kai, one of the glamour girls, along with her partner, Judy Martin, former WWF Women's Tag Team Champions. She was a WWF Women's Champion on her own as a single. You know, I remember the Glamour Girls one time had this manager named Queen Christopher Love. I don't know what ever happened yeah. to him. Where is that guy? But, uh, but Steve Bragg is a protege of Leilani Kai, and they're going to be going against Bambi and uh, what's this guy's name, Thumper? Thumper? Kevin yeah, White. partner, Kevin White, oh, Thumper. that's ridiculous. Same, well, whatever. Bambi. Kevin, Kevin White was trained by no less than the superstar himself, Bill Dundee. Well, Bambi hadn't been the same since that forest fire that killed her mother, but I'll tell you one thing. It's a different Bambi. Huh? I thought there was only one. Point is, Leilani Kai has imparted a lot of wisdom to Steve Bragg. I'm, I'm going with Kai and Bragg in this one. You always go with Bragg no matter what. Sometimes I go with Boast. Now, I'm assuming the rules here are going to be that if a tag is made, the other tag is assumed. We're not going to have a man versus well, woman Scott, set up. Well, Scott, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Wait a minute, I'd prefer you not do that. You don't need my help. But I think that, uh, watch it, you need some help, psychiatric if nothing else. But I think in this case you are right, there's a first time for everything, in that when one of the men tags one of the women, the other woman on the other team must get in. It's going to be women against women, men against men, and never the twain shall meet. Side headlock flip over now by Kevin White on Steve Bragg. Because after all, we are in Nashville, Tennessee, where men are men and sheep are scared. There are sheep here? Oh, nice escape out of the head scissors by Kevin White into the side headlock one more time. Good mat wrestling by these two newcomers. You don't see many of the young guys now doing mat wrestling. Good to see. 
What are they going to be young for? What are you talking about young guys? What are you watching young boys for? What the hell's the I'm matter with you, I'm watching Scott? young wrestlers in the ring, for Pete's sake. Well, right now, Bragg, he's going to come out from under that. He's got the leverage, brings the knee into the midsection. Now goes with the front head chancery while trapping the left arm. Steve Bragg in firm control here. You have a firm grasp of the obvious. I used that line in the last match. Thank you very much. Front chancery, not chancery. Now, oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, look, look at that. Now, wait a minute. There was no tag. It's supposed to be men against men and women against women, and Bambi comes in there and slapped the man in the face. How I do you beg how do you to differ. for that? There was a tag. Bambi tagged Steve Bragg right in the jaw. Well, Bragg was in control of Thumper when you what know, happened. Like Bragg hasn't suffered enough. Leilani Kai just kissed him on the cheek. Well, she's trying to make it better. She's trying to cure it, for heaven's sake. Like curing a ham? Oh, come now. How would you know how to process meat? I read for your book. Sake. A lot of these people in Nashville, they probably know a lot about processed meat. They sit down every Thanksgiving for the traditional carving of the canned spam. Please. Nice hammerlock escape by Kevin White. Float over back into the front chancery. Amateur wrestling. You, it always comes back to the amateur moves, Jim. you got to admit that. You can well, fly around and flop around, but the amateur will get you to the top. Oh, wait a minute. Leilani Kai. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a reverse Thez press. Leilani Kai was going to do the same thing that Bambi had just done, but she didn't take into account the gravitational pull of her excess poundage, and uh, Steve Bragg's not being ready for that. And, what well, are they, you saying about Leilani Kai? I'm saying that possibly she's a little bit heavier than Bambi, just a touch. I don't Possibly. like to comment about a woman's weight, but she may be, and Bragg wasn't ready for it, and the result was a collapse of the uh, malfunction at the junction. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to write that down. Let's see. Excess poundage, gravitational, carry the two. All right, forget that. Steve right, Bragg well, and Kevin White going to try it one more. Oh, wait a minute. Bragg's ready. Look, oh, look at, oh, look at the most muscular on Bragg. That's impressive. Well, the man's got a, uh, an impressive uh, bicep and tricep and quadricep uh, femoris set up there. Wow. Across the Those sternum. Are three, three, well, you were, you were so close until that last one. Now, here we go. Test of strength coming up between Kevin White and Steve Bragg. Oh, look at that. Just quickly. White. Oh, now, wait a minute. They're going for two hands. Now, I think uh, Bragg's got the advantage on Thumper here. It's not Thumper, it's Kevin White. And you're not going to get a pinfall out of this. This is strictly ego. Who's got the most gas inside but now? Well, now it's also, it's, it's, a, it's a moral victory. Exactly. It's a psychological game. Right. Well, there you go. And what are you complaining about then? I'm not complaining. Oh, wait a minute. What? Bambi. Oh, oh no. Right in the bread basket. Bambi crawled between his legs and punched Bragg right in the bread basket. Did I just say that? Well, nobody pays any attention to what you say anyway, Scott, so I was making sure they knew what happened. Oh, Leilani Kai is furious at ringside. She doesn't like Bambi's tactics. But that's run right out of oh, the Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's good for Thumper is good for the gander. Oh! Oh, oh she stomped her fingers. Or he stomped, he stomped her, fingers. her fingers. Or he stomped his fingers. What the heck? And, oh, man, and in the process, nope, Bragg has fingers. gone down. I think she clipped Bragg's uh, Snavitzes on the way through. It's where? His Snavitzes. Steve Bragg and Leilani the Kai, through. the wheels have come off the Columbia, South Carolina connection as Kevin, oh, Kevin White's going to make the tag to Brandy. Here we all right, go. All right, now we get Thumper out of the ring and Bambi in the ring, and let's see what Leilani Kai, she's going to pick her teeth with Bambi. Oh, wait a second now. She's going to make rabbit stew out of that bunny. Is it rabbit season? Did somebody say party? Well, if you're in Wilson County, there's only one place where everybody goes to party. The Thirsty Turtle in Lebanon, Tennessee. And folks, how many times have you heard, sorry, the kitchen's closed. What well, the Thirsty Turtle, not only can you drink and dance all night long, the kitchen stays open till they close. The Thirsty Turtle in Lebanon, Tennessee. Party! Get caught up on all the latest pro wrestling news. It's the USA Championship Wrestling Hotline, 860-7000. That's right, 860-7000. Call right now. Get all the latest gossip, all the latest news, all the latest local action, 860-7000. Call every day. Update it all the time. USA Championship Wrestling. If you really want to know what's going on in the world of professional wrestling, this is the number you need to know, 615-860-7000. Does your car not want to go? 
Well, don't worry, we can tow. Here at Brown's Automotive, we specialize in light, medium, and heavy towing. There's no car or truck too hard for us to handle. Our specially trained staff is on call 24 hours a day, and our quick response time makes us one of the best in Nashville. So when your car doesn't want to go, just give us a call, and we'll give you a tow. At J.D. Byrider, getting a car can be as easy as one, two, three, drive. It's this simple. One, you need a car. We've got it, and it's backed by a rock-solid warranty. Two, you need credit. We guarantee your financing lightning fast. Three, you need a car to get where you want to go. We've got service protection for 12 months or 12,000 miles. Drive. You can drive away the same day you apply. J.D. Byrider, one, two, three, drive. J.D. A message about bankruptcy from Thomas C. Nance, attorney at law. Has your MasterCard mastered you? Has your Visa card taken you places you didn't expect to go? Has your Discover card introduced you to a world of debt that you can't repay? If so, you may need a bankruptcy. Call Thomas C. Nance and Associates, 254-3700. Bambi getting the crowd into it here at the Mecca, the fairgrounds in Nashville, Tennessee. USA Championship Wrestling at its best. Here we go. The ladies going to tie it up at the Mecca. Connor and Elbow tie up. Side headlock now by Bambi. Ooh. Oh, boy, she's wrenching that thing in tight. Wait a minute. She's trying to jerk Leilani Kai's head off. Uh-oh, Leilani Kai using it. No. Way to hang on. Bambi held to the side headlock. Leilani didn't see it coming. Well, now, wait a minute. Once Leilani Kai gets up off her back, like I said to you, she's going to make rabbit stew out of thumper, and then she's going to take Bambi and pick her oh, teeth with that. her. Handful of hair into the head scissors. Now, right there, Leilani Kai has Bambi firmly in between her legs, right where she belongs. As long as she keeps control and maintains the pressure, Bambi's going to have no way to get up. Butterfly double arm, nice rollover. Takedown by Leilani Kai and dropped the elbow into the shoulder of Bambi. Leilani Kai made 38 different tours of Japan. She's one of the most feared American women's wrestlers ever in the country of Japan. 38 tours and she never saw a head scissors escape from a side of headlock? Well, look at that. Well, now she's, move. she's between Bambi's legs, but she didn't stay there very long. Arm bar now all oh, ringing that left arm of Leilani Kai and Bambi. She's been around these wrestling wars for a few years herself. Oh, a handful of hair one more time. They teach her that in Japan? They may have. I'm not sure what all she learned in Japan from her sensei. Her where? Her sensei. You know, that's what you lost last year when you lost your job, your senseis. That was my, that was my hair that I lost when I lost my job last year. Has it been a year? It seems like less because we've been having so much fun without you being on television. Now look at Bambi. Wait a minute. Calling her fist up. Have you seen Eric lately? How about Vince? Give him my regards. I'll do it. Oh, and Bambi with a right hand shot to the midsection. Kind of hard to miss. Oh, and another handful of hair. Japanese hair pull by Leilani Kai. And now this, this referee. You know, I'm going to have to start an officiating school here in USA Championship Whoa. Wrestling. Now look at there. Right in front of the referee. Bambi pulled the hair. And what does the referee do about it? Nothing. Well, so cheering. Steve Bragg is going gonna, is gonna to massage the scalp and make sure that the follicles still continue to grow. And then have to dig dandruff out of his fingernails for three weeks. No thanks. Oh, for heaven's sake. Leilani Kai bathes four times a day. How do you know that? I've personally witnessed it. Is that one of those RF videos? Oh, nice drop toe by Bambi out of nowhere. Leilani now wrapping her up into the leg lock. This may be a submission maneuver. Is, is Leilani Kai tapping? Is she ta This match should be no, over. She, she was tapping out. No, she tap, tap. She's not tapping. She's just merely calling the referee's attention to something. To what? To the fact that she's slapping the mat saying, get this girl off of me. All right across the throat, blatant choke hold from Leilani Kai. The referee letting that one go. Leilani rolls it into a side headlock, now to a rear chin lock. Well, I think as long as the arm is around the chin instead of the throat, it's not a choke, Scott. I That's agree. I it was right around the throat. It wasn't around the throat. It was around the chin. Now, surfboarding Can't you Bambi. ever agree with me on anything? Sure. What? 
Dynamic dudes were a great tag team. Oh, for heaven's sake. Surfboarding Bambi is the veteran Leilani Kai, and you called it earlier, Jim, former WWF ladies champion, WWF ladies tag team champion, but a reversal of the surfboard from Bambi. And quite frankly, I think Bambi's been on more surfboards than Leilani Kai. My God, and look at the grotesque angle that, that Leilani Kai's arms are bent in with Bambi putting that pressure on. Now she rolls her up, hooks the near leg. No. Could not make it stick. Back press that time. Now Leilani takes Bambi over into the turnbuckle, getting a tour of Columbia, South Carolina's corner of this ring. Oh, and now look at Bragg. Bragg has got his foot across what? Bambi's throat. What? What are Come you talking on. about? Referee. Look at Bambi has grabbed that foot and was purposely trying to get Leilani Kai and Bragg disqualified. Bragg was trying to pull that foot away with all of his strength, but he couldn't muster it. Do they have cable TV in the world you live in? Now look at Bragg. What do you call this, Jim? Choking the life out of Bambi. No, Kevin no, White's no, going no. crazy. Now, I can explain that quite easily. Bambi was sweating, and there's nothing that Bragg hates worse than a, than a heavy, perspiring woman, so he was just wiping the sweat off of her face. Oh, snap mare with the hair. One more time, and Leilani Kai. Don't you hate women that perspire heavily? Well, you've probably never been in that situation. Actually, I have. I heard the last time you went out on a date, the woman screamed for hours and hours and hours. I know. And finally, you let her out of the room. That's terrific. Any more out of the Milton Jerl, Milton Burl joke book? Milton Jerl book book? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Where'd Bambi. Bambi go? Right through the wicket. Makes she got the to Kevin. Oh, and Kevin White wants to take a shot at Leilani. Kai, but no. He gets Bragg instead. Drops him with a clothesline. Full scoop and a slam on Bragg in center ring. And big drop kick. Kevin White, like a house of fire. Lateral press. Cover. No. And Bragg got it, too. Boy, I tell you what, White needs to lay off the caffeine. He's going nuts here. Well, he should be. He's watched his partner be manhandled by both members of the other team. No, oh, that was woman handled. You call that a woman? Drop kick to the chest. Lateral you press. You call that a handle? Wait, what is Leilani Kai doing? Broke up the pinfall attempt. What's up with that? Well, the other team's been cheating, so she figured she'd let it slip once. Step over by Bragg. Go, oh. White. And Steve Bragg met head up. Sounded like two watermelons. They just blistered each other, both of them down. Bambi and Leilani Kai in, in their respective corners trying to urge their partners on to make the tag. It'll be interesting to see, Scott, who gets there first. Bragg needs to tag Kai. White needs to tag Bambi. Boy, they hit hard in the center of the ring. I'm surprised the man's conscious. White's going to get to Bambi first. There's the tag. Bambi's in the ring. Now, oh, now, wait a minute. Bragg can't make it. Oh, now, is this legal? Of course it is. Leilani Kai has to come in because Kevin White got the tag. She just tagged her early. Uh-oh. Gonna open her wide up. Make a wish. The catapult. Ooh! That's a boomerang. Nope. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh, my God. What a pileup. Well, Boy, they, call they, the wrecker. They bumped their uglies right into each other there. That is rather ugly. Oh, oh wait a minute. A meeting of the minds, and there we go. Trainer and student just had an agreement in center ring. Bambi shoots Leilani Kai in. Back elbow caught her right in the mush. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Remember what Bragg did to Bambi earlier on in this matchup. A little revenge for the trainee. Oh, wait a minute. Now, what's this? Thumper's in the ring. And, and he's gonna, is White. he going to punch Leilani Kai? I hope so. What kind of an unchivalrous cad Who? would do this? Yeah. No. Reining him in. In the corner mount, Kevin White and Bambi. Looks to me like Bambi hits a little harder anyway. That's ridiculous. Now, Kev Kevin White's going to, no reversal. Ooh. Bambi and Leilani Kai just collided. The referee trying to get Thumper out of the picture here. Wait a minute. What's Bragg doing? Bragg. And Leilani Kai both have Bambi, referee, trying to get Kevin White out. Bambi under the ropes. Sunset flip on Leilani Kai. Can she hang on? Bragg's holding her up. Oh, no. Schoolboy roll up. Double pin. It's over. Was that legal? It sounds legal to me. Bambi and Kevin White will be your winners. What devious tactics from Leilani Kai and Steve Bragg did not pay off. There are your victors. Well, Big Time Wrestling returns tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Box office opens at 6.30. Whoo, we got some exciting matches tonight, folks. We're going to kick it off with Style and Shane Eden taking on practices. 
You'll see the love machine, Matt Longtime, take on the giant Prince Justice. One half of sudden impact, Chris Gatlin takes on Jason Kane. Air Paris returns to take on Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T. It's the U.S. ladies title match when Little Genie with Bart Durham takes on Maria Montana tonight in Nashville. The Hot Shots, Cassidy O'Reilly and Chase Stevens take on the Super Freaks. And in the main event, every week fans write letters. When's James Storm getting a title shot? When's James Storm getting a title shot? Well, he's getting it tonight. James Storm against Chris Harris tonight. A matchup of two very successful tag teams. Next up on USA Championship Wrestling, former WCW Tag Team Champions, Mark Jindrak and Sean O'Hare to face off with former Ohio Valley Wrestling Southern Tag Team Champions, Rob Conway and Nick Densmore. And Scott Hudson, you know what I'm going to say about this match? Go. Everything, because I love all of these guys. I love both teams because they're from Ohio Valley Wrestling in Louisville, Kentucky, where wrestling is king, where wrestling is God. And these two guys, or these two teams, rather, are two of the preeminent teams in OVW. Now, why is it called Ohio anything if it's in Kentucky? Because if you were not geographically challenged, you would know that the Ohio River separates the state of Kentucky from the state of Indiana. Hence, it forms the Ohio Valley. And right now... Mr. Wrestling Nick Dinsmore with Mark Jindrak in the ring. Dinsmore's partner, Iron Man Rob Conway, they comprise the Lords of the Ring. Mark Jindrak's partner, huge Sean O'Hare. It's going to be a tremendous tag team competition. Rest lock now by Nick Dinsmore. Jindrak and O'Hare graduates of the WCW Power Plant Training Academy, the late, great, but, long but minute training. Don't hold that against them because they've oh, been training on. in OVW since then. They've actually become great wrestlers. They weren't that bad when they got there, Jim. Come on. Oh, come on. WCW could take a great athlete and turn him into a paraplegic in 10 minutes' time. Look at Conway. Been done. The Iron Man, Conway and Dinsmore, started their careers as a tag team. Then they both branched out into singles competition. They've been back together as a team for about four months, and that's where they feel the most comfortable. Hence, they're called the Lords of the Ring because of their tremendous technical expertise. In this contest, Jindrak and O'Hare will have the height and weight advantage and maybe the strength advantage so Dinsmore and Conway are going to have to do what they can to keep this match grounded try to get their opponents onto the canvas that may be their best hope well Conway and Dinsmore have the experience advantage both of them True. got about five years under their belt to only two or two and a half for Jindrak and O'Hare but look at the power Jindrak with that waist lock go behind there Conway was trying to separate it couldn't so Conway standing switch takes his man down and to a front chantry on Jindrak and the Iron Man, Rob Conway, showing me something here. Doing just what I said, trying to get Jindrak to the canvas, but Jindrak pulling his man back into the corner. Well, now Jindrak, oh, you got to watch him. But he's a southpaw Ooh. with the left hand. The native of Syracuse, New York. He was a tremendous multi-sport star in college. Now makes the tag, and look at this specimen, Sean O'Hare. Oh. Got to go 295, and he's about 6 feet 6. He is a mountain of a man. All muscle and all mean. Shoot fighter extraordinaire O'Hare if he comes off the top with the Sean Tyler oh. bomb. That might do it, but that was a lariat into the corner that rocked the Iron Man. But Rob Conway fights back. O'Hare into the top turnbuckle. Big chop across the chest from the Iron Man. Opening up on Sean O'Hare. Sets him, shoots him across, reversal. Conway into the corner. Oh, what a clothesline. Drops Sean O'Hare. Well, Conway so explosive. Now the headlock makes the tag to Nick Dinsmore. Dinsmore and Conway will make frequent tags. Because they are so uh, so comfortable with each other as a team, they always know where they are in the ring, and they're going to try to make frequent tags to wear down the bigger men. Because as you know, or you should know, Scott, a bigger man's not going to have the stamina of a smaller man. Exactly. And I know Dinsmore and Conway want to try that, but look at O'Hare. Slowing down the oh. pace. Oh, man, the arm ringer dropped the left arm of Dinsmore right into the canvas. And now O'Hare into the left arm of Mr. Wrestling Nick Densmore, but look at O'Hare just destroying that arm well, he had of that Densmore. Left, he had that left arm wrapped around the rope, and now he makes the tag to Jindrak, and that's not good news Ooh. for Densmore and Conway. The more times Jindrak and O'Hare tag, the worse it is for the smaller team. Did you see Jindrak cut off the ring after the tag? These men, oh, wait a minute. What a forearm shot off the ropes, and Densmore out of nowhere. What fire. 
Back elbow from Dismore. Down goes Jindrak. Version of a snap mare lateral press, and Jindrak kicked out at two. Well, Dinsmore is going to keep the pressure on, and so will Conway, because they use their speed and their agility to their advantage. They keep the pressure on and constantly change partners. And this hatchet-headed referee, oh, wait a minute. That's not hatchet That's head. not hatchet head. No, that's goofball. That's Anthony Ingram. Well, he's confused. Senior USA Championship Wrestling official. He doesn't look tag. like he's a senior in high school. Double hip toss. Down goes Jindrak. And O'Hare comes in and gets the same treatment in the Lords of the Ring, clearing out the former WCW Tag Team Champions. Well, now Jindrak and O'Hare, they've got to get this thing back under control. They have got to dictate the tempo because if the more experienced team, Conway and Densmore, leads the tempo and the pace of the match, well, Jindrak and O'Hare are going to be left out in the cold. We're at the Mecca, the Fairgrounds Arena in Music City, Nashville, no, no, Tennessee. You know, I must beg to differ there again oh, because, what? after all, besides the flat fact that this place is such a trash heap, in my opinion, if you want to know where the Mecca of wrestling is, it's in Louisville, Kentucky. That's this where these two teams are both from. Your mom's house? No, not at my mom's house. Look at Jindrak clubbing forearms across the massive upper back of the Iron Man, Rob Conway. Now Jindrak putting the boots to the midsection of Conway. Oh, this is a vicious side of Mark Jindrak that I never saw on Nitro, I got to tell you that. Well, Jindrak. Just tried to stomp a mud hole in the Iron Man, and he's apparently going to walk it dry as well as now. Jindrak closing in on Conway. Oh, there's that looping left hand, and Conway with a right hand. Wow. Jindrak with a left. My God, it's Ali and Frazier here. And down goes Conway, only a count of one. Boy, this is high and tight right here. Those rights and lefts from Conway and Jindrak into the ropes goes Conway. Big boot into the midsection. Knocked him literally for a loop in center ring. Oh, and Jindrak showing off for his opponent. Don't know that that's such a good idea. Jindrak, and I'll tell you, this kid, he is so big and so massive. He's about 6'6 six, six or 6'7. Six, got to weigh 265, and he's got plenty of frame to fill out as he matures. He is going to be a giant. And O'Hare over there, he is a, he's a monster. But wait a minute, Conway. Conway, nobody told him he's not 300 pounds. He's got a heart as big as the whole state of Tennessee. Oh, but Jindrak cut him off with a knee. Into the midsection, now a boot into the ribs, drops Conway. Tag made to Sean O'Hare, and the monster of the Jindrak and O'Hare team is in there, Sean O'Hare. Well, you can see that martial arts oh. background. He's going to use a lot of kicks, a lot of open hand thrusts. Boy, well, we talk about a short fuse. It doesn't take much to set off Sean O'Hare. Oh, uppercut into the gut. And now look, Conway trying to crawl to the corner, trying to tag his partner. Dinsmore O'Hare was in his face, taunting him. He, he got tagged for his trouble. But now O'Hare just choking the life out of Rob Conway. Oh, now see, the, the strategy is, has changed here because Jindrak and O'Hare are staying in control of Conway now. They've cut the ring off, and they're keeping him in their half, making more frequent tags. Duck the clothesline. Oh, and Conway... He went for that cross body, but Jindrak got that left hand, looked like in the rib cage on the way down. Before you do this to your transmission, <laughs> bring it in to Affordable Transmission and Auto Center. We're the affordable solution for all your auto care needs. They're the pride of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Affordable transmission for all your car care needs. 494. 0141. Bring it in to Affordable Transmission and Auto Center. We're the affordable solution for all your auto care needs. Keep it quality. That's affordable. It's been called America's favorite fundraiser. Professional wrestling. For all you nonprofit organizations, volunteer fire departments, Lions Club, JCs, if you need to raise money, call right now. 615-366-8036. Direct from Nashville, Tennessee. Big time pro wrestling means big profit. Look at this packed gymnasium. Call us right now. 615-366-8036. We'll bring wrestling to you. You know Direct has offices all over the state of Tennessee. 
And you know, we have great prices on car and life insurance with low down payments. But did you know we have cell phones for as little as $45 when you purchase $30 worth of prepaid airtime? It's simple. Purchase your prepaid airtime for $30 and you can get a cell phone for only $45. Come by direct and get your cell phone service from us. Save a lot of money when you buy direct. Kevin Costner. I'm Crash. Susan Sarandon. And it's the void. Your place or mine. Despite my rejection of most Judeo-Christian ethics, I am, within the framework of the baseball season, monotonous. Give me a break. It's true. Bull Durham. America's other national pastime. Rated R. Crash, that was bad. Watch tonight at 7 on UPN 30. Oh, big time wrestling returns tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Box office opens at 6.30. Who we got some exciting matches tonight, folks. We're going to kick it off with style and shading and taking on practices. You'll see the love machine, Matt Longtime, take on the giant Prince Justice. One half of sudden impact, Chris Gatlin takes on Jason Kane. Air Paris returns to take on Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T. It's the U.S. ladies title match when Little Jeannie with Bart Durham takes on Maria Montana tonight in Nashville. The Hot Shots, Cassidy O'Reilly and Chase Stevens take on the Super Freaks. And in the main event, every week fans write letters. When's James Storm getting a title shot? When's James Storm getting a title shot? Well, he's getting it tonight. James Storm against Chris Harris tonight. Or I can see some fire in his eyes. Here comes Mr. Wrestling Nick Dismore. Double top at O'Hare. Just one right hand. Dropped him like a stone. O'Hare now telling Dismore to get up. I don't know if I see the wisdom in that. If you've got an opponent down, don't ask him to get up. Kick him. Put him O'Hare. Put Dismore to his feet. Oh, oh, a right hand. Down goes Dismore. O'Hare so methodical, so vicious. O'Hare's measuring him again, oh. and he blisters him again, Dinsmore. He's staggering. He's weebling. He's wobbling. He can't get his wits about him. Oh! And O'Hare. I think both men got a shot in that time, but Dinsmore certainly got the worst end. He is back down on the canvas. Tag made to Mark Dendrak. Another surfboard this time. And this battle of former tag team champions. Dendrak and O'Hare, of course, from WCW. Conway and Dinsmore. Southern Tag Team Champions from Ohio Valley Wrestling. And Jim Drackett O'Hare, of course, obviously now competing in OVW as well. So both of these teams very familiar with each other. That's why the, oh, wait a minute, Dinsmore, with that spinning heel kick. He took Jim Drack down, but now Dinsmore, trying to get to his corner, has rolled to the neutral corner. That was everything. Jim Drack tried to go to Conway. Now he sees where he is. Both these guys disoriented by fatigue. Tag to a shot, O'Hare. Dinsmore could not make the tag. Oh, and Conway had had enough. He Whoa. wasn't sleeping that time. Tag, Rob Conway. The Iron Man is in the ring with Sean O'Hare. Oh, and down goes O'Hare. Conway drops O'Hare again with a clothesline. Jindrak, oh, did he catch a right hand to the jaw? Reversal. Conway to the ropes. Slide through. Up top. Hurricane Rana. Nailed oh, wait a minute. There's O'Hare swinging a miss. Ducks Boots it. to the gut. DDT. Oh, Rob Conway taking care of both men but Jindrak. Axe handle to the back of the head. Dinsmore's back in this one. He's got Jindrak tied up in the corner. Conway has O'Hare in the other corner. Finally, back even, two on two. Oh, now wait a minute, reversal. Oh. Conway and Dinsmore together. Dinsmore just rolled to the floor. And now Conway is left alone with Jindrak and O'Hare. Dinsmore's outside the ring. Trips up Sean O'Hare. Conway, oh, he bought a left hand from the southpaw, Mark Jindrak, a series of lefts, and Jindrak, wait a minute, reversal, Jindrak into the ropes, Conway, oh, pancaked him in the center of the ring, side press, hooks the leg, he made it, he pinned him, boy, it was just that quick, Jindrak and O'Hare were on top of things, wow, and suddenly, Dinsmore and Conway turned things around, what a matchup, two, watch Jeopardy, Saturday night at six on UPN 30. Does your car not want to go? Well, don't worry, we can tow. Here at Brown's Automotive, we specialize in light, medium, and heavy towing. There's no car or truck too hard for us to handle. 
Our specially trained staff is on call 24 hours a day, and our quick response time makes us one of the best in Nashville. So when your car doesn't want to go, just give us a call, and we'll give you a tow. It's back. The 5th Annual Best Buy Nashville River Stages, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Over 65 bands, 6 stages, like Counting Crows. This is the Best Buy Nashville River Stages, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th, with Eric Abadu at Downtown Riverfront Park. You'll also see Huba Stank and Incubus. For a limited time, three-day passes, just $35. Three-day passes on sale now. Available at all Ticketmaster outlets. A Clear Channel Entertainment event. Certain things are always true. The best football is played in the SEC each Saturday and always in the fall of each year. Also, your best buying car insurance will always be found at the number one company, Acceptance Insurance. So for no big down payment, 12 monthly installments, and great service, call Acceptance Insurance and continue our tradition of saving you money. Acceptance Insurance. Check us out today. They told me this was a home game. Time Wrestling returns tonight, 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 only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena. Box office opens at 6.30. Whoo, we got some exciting matches tonight, folks. We're going to kick it off with Style and Shane Eden taking on practices. You'll see the love machine, Matt Longtime, take on the giant Prince Justice. One half of sudden impact, Chris Gatlin takes on Jason Kane. Air Paris returns to take on Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T. It's a U.S. ladies title match when Little Genie with Bart Durham takes on Maria Montana tonight in Nashville. The Hot Shots, Cassidy O'Reilly and Chase Stevens take on the Super Freaks. And in the main event, every week fans write letters. When's James Storm getting a title shot? When's James Storm getting a title shot? Well, he's getting it tonight. James Storm against Chris Harris tonight. What are you mad about? You, you still mad last time we come out here and we beat your butts? Is that what you're mad about? Hey, hey, man, don't be mad at me. Don't be. Oh, oh, big bully Douglas trying the attack from behind. And both members of me, Inc. Pay, and the price is down goes Douglas. Rapata, down goes Rapata. And the hot shots cleaning house of me, Inc. They mean business. Do you think we might be able to get this match started? Get these buffoons to settle down a little bit? I was enjoying Mike Rapata's rendition of I Want to Talk About Me. As a matter of fact, I wish he'd sing about it a little bit more. You're the one. Did somebody say toe? There's only one name to know. Shorty's Wrecker in Lebanon, Tennessee. Call him 449-0372. Shorty can move a semi or a Volvo. Heck, he can move a house. Shorty's Record Service, Lebanon, Tennessee, 449-0372. Call him today. You're never stranded when you got Shorty's number in your wallet, 449-0372. If car problems got you pinned for the one, two, three, you need to come see my friends at Mufflers, Brakes, and more. Come see my friend Robert and the gang, where they specialize in mufflers, brakes, and any of your other car repair needs. Don't wrestle with them old car problems. Bring them down here to my friends, Mufflers, Brakes, and more. The city's toughest cop the breakthrough main silent. has just been assigned a new partner. A dog? I'm the canine with a computer implant. Your computer? Holy mother. Now, to stop a dangerous criminal. The government is in on the hit. This unlikely duo. They're going to try it again. We'll have to work together. Hang on, Eddie. I gotcha. To take a bite out of crime. You're amazing. K9000. Watch today at 2 on UPN 30. And you want someone who can make all your dreams come true? It's like no other place you've seen. Welcome to my world. It's like no other show on TV. You're an old soul. And you have clearly lived before. You have no idea. They are like no one else on Earth. I need you to tell me why. I can't ever tell you the truth. Roswell. Tuesday night at 8 on UPN 30. 
their debt just got repaid because Douglas and Rapata are bigger, they're stronger, they're meaner, and they have the managerial expertise of Brother Ernest right there along, along ringside with them. You mean Pimp Daddy E? Pimp Daddy E. He knows. My good friend Ernest. He can't even manage his sock drawer, much less a tag team. Well, Scott, how would you manage a sock drawer? I can do it very well, it's, thank you. Well, I imagine you could. That's probably your calling in life. But it, while you're talking about the administrative capabilities of, of sock drawers, meanwhile, Douglas and Rapata are kicking a bejesus out of these two skinny little punks. This has been brewing for weeks here in USA Championship Wrestling, and it is boiling over on this edition. Scott Hudson and Jim Cornette ringside. Big bully no, Douglas. no, no. That's Jim Cornette and Scott Hudson ringside. My apologies. Tag made. Big Billy Douglas. Mike Rapata dropped the elbow on Cassidy Riley. And now Rapata are going to drop the knee. Rapata and Douglas are oh. just too big and too strong. The hot shots don't have the weight in their jeans to be able to take care of these two guys. Oh, look at Rapata. It's all about me, me, me. Look at that lackadaisical cover, and Riley kicked out at two. It's not all about you, you, you. It's all about him, him, him. Get your pronouns straight. Oh, boy, Riley. Now that's kicking out of an unorthodox pinfall attempt from Rapata. Head bounced off the canvas. Oh, wait a minute. Look at there. The presence of mind to grape behind the leg. Now Rapata holds onto the foot while he tags Douglas. Ooh. Legal tag. Within the referee's five count, they made the switch, and now Douglas all over your hot shot. Old hot shot Stevens there. Jay Stevens trying to get into the ring. Cassidy Where is that Riley? Riley? It's Riley in the ring. Well, a it doesn't really matter, does it? From me, Inc. Referee Eric Hicks distracted. He gets distracted by bright lights. This guy to get in the get in the game. Now wait a minute. When I was knocking him, you were praising him. Now that you're knocking him, does that mean I should praise him? No, right I'll ahead. knock him too. He's a hatchet head. What exactly does that mean? That means that it looks like somebody set his face on fire and put it out with an axe. I'm going to write that one down. Cassidy Riley back into the ropes by Big Bully Douglas. Shoots him in. Douglas waits on him. Big back oh. body drop up into the lights here at the Mecca in Nashville. Douglas eerily reminiscent. Wait a minute. Cover there. Lateral press and Riley barely kicked out at two. Douglas is eerie, eerily reminiscent of another famous wrestler in Nashville. It was a great wrestler, the angel, Frank Morrell. Sure. He looks quite a bit like perhaps, possibly related in some distant fashion. Really? You to, think so? Uh, to the angel. Wow. Frank Morrell, there's a name from the past. Went on to a great career as a referee, actually. And he had more hair than you. That's not saying much. Well, you said that again. Rapata now pulling the form of Cassidy Raleigh back into center ring. Raleigh was very close to making the tag to Chase Stevens. Well, unfortunately, the hot shots have taken their best shot, and so far they can't control me incorporated. There's the tag. Chase Stevens now. No, 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 no. I beg to differ. That's what? not a tag because the referee didn't see it. Oh, well, that's like a tree falling in the forest. There was a tag. This blind referee hey, missed it. Double. Let me ask you a question. If a wrestling announcer makes commentary and there's nobody listening, does that mean he doesn't make any noise? In which case, would you please shut up? What would you say? Are you talking? Is your mic on? Is this thing on? Big bully Douglas getting in the face of the official. Not the best refereeing job we've seen here. By Wait a minute. What a, not one of these Nash millions no. trying to shake my hand over here. I don't do that. It spreads germs. For well, heaven's I'm sake. I'm sure he'll get over it. I need security around here. I'm too big of a star for this building. Mike Rapata sets Cassidy Riley up. Big suplex in center ring. Riley has been in this contest since the opening bell. Desperately needs to make the tag to Stevens. We'll see that's the mark of a good tag team. Wait a minute, he's got him covered there, but. Another cover by Rapata. Oh, no. Schoolboy roll up. No. That's Boy, the mark Crayla. of a good tag team. They have kept Riley in their part of the ring. They've, they've blocked him off from making the tag. He can't get to his partner. So it's two on one, but they're doing it within the boundaries of the rules, Scott. Barely. Barely within the boundaries of the rules. And with Eric Hicks in there as an official, I'm not sure they haven't broken the rule a couple oh, of now, times. Oh, now, see, now there you're talking about him bad again. See, now you've changed your tune. You're what? like an ex-wife I once had. Change once. your tune constantly. Ooh. Lariat from Big Bully Douglas dropped Cassidy Riley, who may be out on his feet. 
front chancery. And this might be a submission maneuver. With all of the abuse that Riley has taken, he might get a submission here, but watch Riley. Riley, pulling Douglas back into the corner. There's the tag, but again, the referee, distracted by Mike Rapata. Oh, now, wait a minute. Like I said, it's not a tag if the referee doesn't see it. So once again, the hot shots have failed to follow the basic rules of professional wrestling. What, to tag, to change partners? You're right. What were they thinking? Well, they're Whoa. not doing it right. Inverted atomic drop. Now, wait a minute. That could seriously impair that man's ability to reproduce. That so hold on banned. What has that got to do with wrestling? Well, if you do it right a lot. Unless you're a Von Erich. Wait a minute, Riley. Oh, Back just off. bought a boot right in the face from Big Bully Douglas. Rapata. There's the tag to Douglas. And Riley was that close to making the tag to Stevens. Now Douglas on top. Stevens has had it. Puts the boot right into the back of Big Bully Douglas. And now, wait a minute, Douglas, still with the referee trying to keep some order here somehow, Scott Hudson, Douglas just happens to take advantage of the five count and the double suplex. Down goes Riley. Jay Stevens has not been in this contest legally since the opening bell. Lateral press from Rapata and Riley out at two. And Rapata obviously questioning Hatchet Ed here about the count, which he ought to because it was incredibly slow. It certainly was not. They don't count like that in Louisville, where I'm from. They don't count there. Oh, for heaven's sake, Watch Louisville's Riley. the wrestling capital of the world. There's the tag. No, wait a minute. There it is. But oh, Rapata's ready Stevens. for him. Down goes Rapata. Douglas took one. Douglas and Rapata being double teamed now by the Hot Shots. Riley's back in this. Down goes Douglas. Down goes Rapata. And the Hot Shots opening up on me, Inc. Standing drop kick on Douglas. This Riley. looks like a human demolition derby here. That's exactly what they want. No love love here. Here we go. Got a double shoot. Oh, and a beating of me, Inc. It's all about me, me, me. Wait a minute now. Look at that. Double team and Douglas. That's the only way they could get him down. Two Ooh. on one. Just like Ricky and Robert. Double drop kick. Down goes Douglas. Down goes Rapata. Oh, wait a minute. Ernest. Give him some mouth to mouth. Try to, some CPR. Maybe the Heimlich that. maneuver. Oh, double suplex on Big Bully Douglas. Watch Rapata. Try the double clothesline. Oh. The double Russian leg sweep from the hot shots. Lateral press and Douglas at the last possible moment. But Stevens opening up on Douglas. And now these guys, wait a minute. The hot shots, I think they're about shot. Oh! Riley and that? Rapata. Riley nailed the referee. Oh, they both nail the referee. He got in the way. They, the referee obviously has lost total control. The Hot Shots and me, Inc. This one's going to be tossed, I can guarantee you. Well, wait a minute. Look, he's trying to kick Pimp Daddy E right in the face. Well, good. It, can only, him, it can only improve things. Look at that outfit. Do not adjust your set. Oh, and down goes Riley. Me, Inc. double teaming Cassidy. Now, what? wait a minute. What did Pip Daddy E toss into the ring? Well, it looks to me like they're giving the man a present. They're giving him that's some a, uh, bracelets, it looks a, like. That's a set of your handcuffs, Cornette. Wait a minute. How'd they get a hold of my handcuffs? Have they been in my bag? Wait a second. Riley, handcuffed to the lower rope. Now the referee, oh, now what? The referee being, what are they, what is Pip Daddy E throwing into the Pimp ring? Pip Daddy E obviously works for the Nashville Metropolitan Corrections Institute. Oh, he most certainly does not, although he's had experience with them, I, I think. He's on the Davidson County Sheriff's Department. I don't know. He looks like a standard police officer in Tennessee to me. Oh, he does not. Cassidy Riley, handcuffed to the lower rope. The ridiculous Pimp Daddy E. You know, that's who Pimp Daddy E reminds me of, Buford Pusser. And now look at Douglas and Rapata and Pimp Daddy E. Have the referee helpless. They got the hot shots exactly where they want them. Look I at, think we have seen a case of total domination here. We are seeing a case of an official who lost control of a match and a war that may know no end in USA Wrestling. Well, the referee looks like the crab boy now. He's trying to crawl around. That's where he ought to be. Double underhook from Rapata on Chase Stevens. Oh, oh, Riley Kabashi can't get DDT. loose. Riley, look at Riley straining. He can't get loose. Cassidy Riley having to watch in horror as his partner double teamed by me, Inc. Or two and a half teamed if you count that pimp daddy E. Wait a minute. What is he? Where's Ernest gone? 
Ernest is left. Oh, and now what's left of Chase Stevens is going to get, oh, the neck breaker from Big Bullock. What has Pimp Daddy E oh, gone? Oh, Ernest is back. What is he doing? He's found a chair. There we go. Pimp Daddy E throws a chair into the ring. Is that lady all right? He pulled it right out from under her. Oh, she'll be all right in a few days. I think I might have broken her coccyx. Well, now, what? Hang on. That's located gonna... in the proboscis. Now, wait a minute. Stevens. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. They're going to give Stevens a seat. That's where this kid ought to oh, be. Oh, no. Every time he comes to a wrestling match, he ought to be sitting in a seat at ringside because he doesn't deserve to be in a ring. Where are the officials of USA Championship Wrestling? Where are the referees? Come on. Well, there's one of them. He's doing a, a real good job right there. He's handcuffed He's behind his back. You should know there. what that's like. He's laying there taking up space, about what he always does. Cassidy Riley handcuffed to the lower rope. Chase Stevens has taken more abuse and punishment than, oh, wow. man. Double shoulder breaker out of a tombstone. I don't know if Chase Stevens is conscious. Speaking of tombstones, I think that's what hot shots are going to need. You may be right. This is carnage. Well, I would venture to guess this was a no decision, Scott. We'll have to ask the referee. I don't think he remembers.